What's up, collective? Welcome back to the Karmic Circus, where we expose all of these karmic -y ass clowns. Collective. This is the energy of a masculine and feminine. Okay? So this may or may not resonate with you. It talks about breakups, endings, third party situations. Um, so just take what resonates. You know, I made this deck, so it has a lot of a lot of uh, different energies in here. So only take the parts that resonate with you and leave the rest. Wow. First card come out. This has something to do with you all that's either in a union or a marriage. See, whoever this person is, <laughs> you're ignoring their messages now. And now they want to marry you after you stop chasing them. Put salt around your doors and the windows, because here they come. Okay, so tell me about this union in marriage with the feminine and the masculine. What's going on with this union or marriage with the masculine and the feminine? What's going on? They say they love you forever, collective. And they say they're sorry they met you when they was going through a breakup. This could be for some of you an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Either this person is in prison or jail, or you put them in a mental prison. You could be healing, burning sage, Palo Sante. You may be just taking spiritual baths and stuff. And this person may have a smart ass mouth and you don't want to talk to them. You're ignoring them. Now they're apologizing to you. Okay? Because apparently, you know, when they met you, they was dealing with somebody else. But they're telling me that to tell you that they love you. Okay, what else? Yeah, you need to, whoever this person is, you need to heal your energy. And I see you doing that with the spiritual baths out here, the healing crystals and sage. Maybe some of you need to burn some sage. Okay. When you burn sage, you make sure you burn a white candle. Okay. Because when you burn burn the sage, you run it out all. You run it out all of the energies. And if you guys stay tuned to the end of this reading, I got a little special something I'm gonna do extra so just watch this reading all the way to the end and i'm gonna do some yes and no questions okay so yeah but <clears throat> this person you're ignoring them and they're apologizing to you and like i was saying about the you burn the sage and you you uh, burn a white candle because when you burn the sage, you're running out all the energies. All of these energies, you're running out when you burn the sage. See, some of them could be good energies and some of them could be bad. But you're running all of them out when you burn the sage. All right? So you make sure you burn a white candle and invite the kind, good spirits, good, loving, caring spirits in your ancestors. But get rid of, you chase out, and when you say it, you open your doors and your windows and tell them motherfucking spirits to go. If they can't dwell in your home, they gotta go. Command them to leave in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, or whoever you worship. Yahshua, the Most High. Okay. So, yeah, you need to heal your energy because this person has a female energy that's around them that didn't want them to love you. Okay, yeah, just what I said. My ex done black magic on me. Now I'm clearing my energy from it. I'm clearing their energy from my space. See, this, this female that this person is dealing with, 
You need to heal your energy because this they still dealing with their ex. And she wanted them to reject you. Okay? So, they did. Now, most likely, we'll see. I already know what's going to happen. I already know. You're healing from this. And take a spiritual bath. If this person broke your heart, get you a half a cup of salt and put it to your bath water. Um, if you got flowers in your in your backyard, in your front yard, or in your neighborhood, um, your nearest boutique, I mean flower flower boutique. What's it called boutique? The flower uh <laughs> the flower shop. Okay. Go there and buy you some um just some of them may just give you some of the flowers, the, the, not the stems. You want the flowers. Okay? Just ask them, do they got some spare flowers they don't want? Okay? Um, and put them in your bath with a half a cup of salt. Um, if you don't have the money to go and buy it, like I said, walk around your neighborhood. Look at the flowers. Cut off some roses. Now you make sure you get permission from the homeowners. But if they on in the public somewhere, yeah, you get your little uh, bag and 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 cut cut you some flowers, okay? And put them in your spiritual bath and burn you a white candle and listen to some affirmations and um affirmations and prayers, okay? Because this person, whoever this female clown is around them, she's into black magic. And this is why you need to heal your, your energy. Okay. So tell me about this female. Marriage in the future came in reverse. So, this ex of theirs is doing some sort of magic. Because maybe this masculine still communicates with her and he could have been talking about he wants to marry you or something. So she got to work in her little magic. Mm -hmm. So there wouldn't be no marriage in the future with you and him. Now the crazy thing is, I don't know this karmic energy personally, but she has been up in my energy in my card so much to where I feel like I know everything that she did. And she don't like, she don't even like this masculine. She's into women. But she don't like the fact because for years this person has been controlling this masculine, getting money from her whenever she wants. You know, if she just need a little dick on the side, she she call him. But he get with another feminine energy. She wants that feminine to bow down to her. And if you're strong, she will start doing magic against you. And she's a little innocent face looking person. She's innocent. Nobody knows she's doing this. Okay. She ain't getting away with it. Because jail and prison time is coming. Now that jail or prison time could be her actually going to jail or doing some prison time. Or this could mean she's going to spiritual jail, emotional jail. You know, um, just jail. Literal. Or this masculine could have put her in jail. You could have put this masculine in jail. But the overall energy is collective. Is you you were ignoring this person because you know that this they have this female clown around them. And he's apologizing. He's saying he's sorry. He met you when he was going through a breakup. Now see, if, if he was going through a breakup in the first place, he shouldn't have even approached you. But if, if he's going through a breakup and him and her was breaking up, what we going to find out? You walked away from the drama. And he sees you walking away. Side piece. See, this was somebody who he had broke up with probably years ago. She was a side piece when he got with you. I guess they wanted me to be the side piece. They want you to be the side piece. But she wants your spot. She didn't. She didn't want. She. The only thing she wanted from this masculine is his money. She didn't want him. She didn't even really want his dick. 
And he damn sure don't know how to eat pussy. So, that's what she like. That's what she give with women. Which is dumb, because men know how to do it. She just got with a woman who knew how to who knew how to lick her coochie more than, than that masculine did. He got left. See? This is why he did what he did to you. Because he intentionally hurt you because of what this karmic clown did. And he's still riding around listening to her and shit. Yep. She was a past karmic energy and wanted to reconcile. And the only reason she wanted to reconcile was because she heard or found out about you. She didn't want him. See, and and when 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 this masculine, he would all of a sudden, he would start starting arguments with you so he can leave, disappearing. That's because he had, he you know he got with her. Okay, he would say some real fucked up foul, foul shit. Forgot the last words he said before the breakup. So this means he's trying to come back. But he forgot all the shit that he said when he was trying to get off to go with this karmic energy. Yeah, he said some things to you. Okay? And now he's he's apologizing. Because he's going through a breakup. Well, you shouldn't have even... That's where these men make their mistakes. Before you totally heal, get over feminine energy, you need to heal, take a spiritual bath, and don't in everything that you have of hers... Throw that shit in the trash, pawn it, get rid of it, sell it. Because every time you look at whatever it is that that person has, you're going to keep thinking about it. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. Paying a practitioner, watching and waiting for the results. See? This is what this karmic energy was doing. She, it's, it's like... Because this masculine was talking about marriage in the future. She started paying somebody to do some spell work. That's a goddamn shame. This is an evil ass witch. She knows she don't. She licks pussy. She's a cat licker. So when she paid the practitioner and watching and waiting for the results... She was waiting to see if you two were going to break up. And this is why this masculine intentionally hurts you. Because this karmic paid a practitioner to make him start saying fucked up shit to you. Being mean towards you. Leaving you out in the cold. Saying real, you know, fucked up shit and left. So now he's coming back. You need to uh, remember the last things he said before he walked out that door. And don't let him back in. You already walked away from the drama. So there's no need for you to even go back. Because he's still going to continue dealing with this past karmic energy that only wants to reconcile. Only wants your spot. Because she knows that this masculine wants to marry you. And that means this is, I've seen a bitch that was out there that that was, that waited years and years and years when my daddy was lying to her, telling her he was going to leave my mom, that he was going to divorce her. This witch, she, 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 this heifer, she stayed around, shit, I'm 56, this bitch was around. Since, shit, I was six years old. I guess she started hanging around my daddy when my, my mama got pregnant with my youngest brother. And he's 40-something. And that bitch was hanging around my mama's house up until, uh, hanging around my daddy up until I moved in over there. She's a witch. Yeah. So, it's like, this is a karmic energy that she knows she don't want him, but she's just trying to manipulate him. And keep him in her little warp, warped ass world. Okay? And this masculine is too dumb to see. Okay? So I'm gonna stop this right here and I will continue with another karmic reading in the next week. Peace.